and welcome to Neat and Not by the Sea, Floss 2 video number something or other. It is the Saturday the 8th of October and my name is Victoria. Kia ora, my name is Catherine and my pronouns are she, her, how am I? Welcome! <coughs> and now we're not ready. And this is my house. So we're back in my house and in the background there seems to be some, oh it's the lat, it's a step ladder. <laughs> So you, what, what is that strange modern contraption? It's a step ladder. Um, <laughs> You've been yeah, probably painted. this might be the last time we film here. Mm. Um, a different view of my house. Yeah, she's rotated the sort table. Victorious. Those are portraits of my girls that were taken before proper teenage hormones set in, and they would say no. Um, which are precious oil paintings by a local artist. Um, yeah, we're looking out onto. A view of the water and the beautiful mountains and a ko-fi tree. Yeah, with some birds on it. Yeah, nature, as Victoria put it. <laughs> nature, but on the other side of the glass where I like it. <laughs> uh, so, in the last two weeks, what's two weeks? What's been happening? Oh no, we didn't rehearse this. No. Uh, there must have been life. We had a snow day. We had a snow day. Work from home, mm -hmm. so that was. We had a proper snow day. Let's it was proper snow. Definite global warming. If apparently the biggest snowfall in Dunedin in over 50 years. Wow. Yeah. Because I, I live, I mean, you live by the sea, mm. um, but, but hilly yeah. by the sea. So the elevation is probably 30 meters. Yeah. Whilst I live by the sea in Waikawaiti and I'm a two kilometers walk away from the beachfront but with an elevation of maybe a meter mm. um so low low we're, we're both kind of low low so we wouldn't expect to, snow to fall and, 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 and stay yeah. yeah but it did it was great yeah we had oh, on um so good the local beaches in Dunedin which is St Clair and St Kilda there was uh snow settling on the sand mm. so you know everything looked very pretty and white and clean for about 10 minutes and then grey mm. and brown and muddy and Mm, by the next day, it was all gone. Yeah, except mm. for the snowmen. There are still a couple of snowmen. Oh, okay. I haven't seen any. That was very exciting. Yeah, so that. Last weekend, what happened? I mean, I've just spent, like, my life has been mm -hmm. painting this house all white. Um, have I had a life apart from that? You did some classes. Oh, yeah, so my, my art class. Uh, that's really tiring, but great. I need to do my homework for tomorrow. Um, but yeah, I'm really enjoying it. I'm learning lots, learning theory and practice, so that's really good. Um, but I kind of, um, oh god, you know, I get tired. We stand at an easel for two and a half hours. Oh, standing for it, yeah. And no tea break, so that's just a shocker. Mm. Um, but the nice thing about it is that I do meet a friend for a coffee beforehand, so that's really oh, lovely. Oh, that's lovely. Um, yeah, so we, we then go to the class together, so that's really lovely. Um, I've gone out for dinner. I was going to go to a concert. Um, my son invited us to a concert with Martin and his wife. And, uh, but the, the, the concert got cancelled. Uh, oh. On the night, they missed their flight. Um, apparently there was a delay and then they, they missed the connection. So that was disappointing for them, but not for me. Because I had said yes in good faith. I can't even remember what they were called. But why would I think that I can stay up late? <laughs> That's just ridiculous. <laughs> So we ended up going out for a meal only because we, we we were going to shout them a meal because they bought the tickets. So that was that was the idea. But in the end, lovely. We got home by gosh, probably eight thirty. It was great. It's great. That's a good time. Good oh, fun time. Did I tell you that thing about? Um, I don't, I'm not going to list them all, but apparently after forty, there are five things that bring you great happiness, and one of them is cancelled plans. <laughs> I would. I think at any age, they <laughs> definitely after forty though you're like. Oh God, I've got to go out tonight. And then you get a text saying, oh, I'm sorry, the thing is off. It's like, yes, <laughs> yes. Um, um, so yeah, just that. Yeah, um, just being What about you? So the last time we filmed was the first day of a three-day weekend. And I was sick for the other two days. I had vertigo and it was awful. That's right. And that, um, so nothing got done. I was literally sleeping because I couldn't sit up and couldn't. Well, it was just awful. And it took me about a week to get over that with, you know, work, home, bed sort of routine. But I'm all firing on all cylinders at the moment, which is great. And then 
last weekend I caught up with my family and then I had a lovely stitchy day at home and then worked all week and then I had a nice stitchy day today. Mm. Yeah, I'm, I've managed to get quite a bit of stitching done recently. I'm still a little bit frustrated because I still can't find the yarn for my socks. So I've got a pair of socks halfway through. That's annoying. Oh, you've got the yarn and you just can't find it? Oh, I've got, about, to... I've got about four balls. Mm -hmm. And also that belongs to the cardigan that I'm going to unravel. So I've got four balls and a cardigan that I'm going to unravel. <coughs> um, can't find the yarn. So that's annoying. <laughs> so I've cast on different, a, a different project. And I've also... Because my sister-in-law came to visit today. She lives in Wellington. And we don't see her very often because she's the one that lived in the Middle East um, for the last... 30 years I would say um, but she's just moved to New Zealand um, so she came down um, and it was lovely to see her but I sat opposite her in the sitting room mm -hmm. the sitting room in a, a little house and um, it's a different vantage point so as we were chatting I was looking at all my yarns <laughs> <laughs> and I was plotting new projects so that was that was fun so I know what I'm gonna cast on next so that's good excellent but yeah my house is gonna go for sale the week after next so the next week they're doing all the paperwork and the week after it's going to go on sale so that's really great um martin and i are kind of over we're still married but we're kind of over <laughs> painting and preparing a house for sale yeah you've been working on it solidly for a month so yeah i've been working i've been killing myself working all of september mm. and i i had to make him help in the last 10 days because i just had enough um and i'm really pleased I'm, I'm proud of myself because we've saved a lot of money by doing it ourselves but Honestly, I'm just over it. Um, but yeah, it was really good. But now I kind of feel like I can have my weekends back. Yes. Yep. Which, you know, when you work full time, it's really exhausting. Weekends are precious. Yeah. They're short and precious. Anyway, shall we crack on? Let's crack on. Now, I think you have more than I to show this way. I do. So if you start. So we'll start with, um, I've got oh. so much cross stitch to tell you. Wait what? a minute. Catherine, do you have any fully finished objects? Oh, Oh, they're at the bottom of the bag, aren't they? Hang uh -huh. on. One moment, Paula. <laughs> <clears throat> I'm not sure these qualify as fully finished, Victoria. Oh, I do. I do. I've I mean, made the call. I'll obey you. Um, but I think this might be, become a wee obsession of mine. Good. Because um, they're just so lovely. And I've got lots of the, the button things. So these are the little buttons. So if you follow me on Instagram, you will have seen them. Um, that's right, printed room. So, I had shown you some embroidered, some red cross stitch um, little images that I'd done from that, from that book of motifs. So anyway, I've made them into buttons now. That's so cute. So that's my wee house. And I love that it's ever so slightly off center. Of course I love that. And Margarita was like, I love the off centerness of the... Yes, that one particularly I love. love this with a passion. Mm. So good. Very excited. So these, although they're buttons, they're, um, they're actually going to work as brooches. So excited about that. <clears throat> Are you going to sew them on so they're like a permanent brooch? Yeah. 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 Oh, just because it's... Oh, I could do a... No, I probably will do, sew them on. Ah, we'll see. Um, and I also um, messed up some of the other little buttons. So the, the little buttons... So the big ones that I've shown are going to be brooches, but I'm also doing these little smaller buttons for my coat. So this was the bird. And they've mostly not come out great. Um, I realized that I'd cut them too small. I cut um, the fabric, yeah. Yeah, I cut the fabric. I, I, I embroidered them too close together. So by the time you cut them, even though I was measuring, I was saying, okay, um, a centimeter and a centimeter, it still actually wasn't generous enough. So this wasn't good enough for my fox, but I don't want to waste this. So I'm going to, because I tried the button and it didn't work. One bit would always stick out. I'm actually going to sew fabric on the edges to make it a little bit bigger and then have it somewhere on something. Because I do bitch. love it. It's gorgeous. Yeah, I do love it. Um, and the same, the same with a wee apple or fruit or note, musical note. Um, and this little heart. And do notice my nails that I painted at work <laughs> in a meeting. I was like, I'm painting my nails at work. No, nobody can see. Um, so, 
the success stories, well, actually, it looks like I just had one success story, was this wee dog. Oh, the wee dog is cute. It is very cute. I love it. Um, but I also kind of messed up all the others. So I've got, you know, a bird with a tiny little bit that's just sticking out of the back bit. And then I've got this little flowery motify thingy. Again, it sticks out of the back, so it'll come undone. So it's not worth pretending that it's going to work. And again, I've got the key, and you can already see that it's coming undone. I'm only showing you, um, just in case you have an impression that I'm a perfectionist. <laughs> um, you know, things go wrong. It's just what happens. So I'm gonna try and prize them out of the button casing and save the embroidery because I'm like that. I love this. And I've got loads of these um, self-cover button kits, fittings at home that I bought secondhand. So excellent. I love them. I definitely recommend them. I know lots of people have done these. Um, super good fun. Excellent. Yeah, you could, if you celebrated Christmas in a um, sort of traditional way, you could, you could do Christmassy ones. That would look cute. Mm. So that's my fully finished, apparently. Excellent. Yeah. Do you have any finished objects? Oh, no. Ethos. No. Have you? Yes. Oh. So. Exciting. This Exciting. hasn't even gone up on Insta because I'm awful. That's right, because it so. never goes up on Insta, <laughs> Victoria. So this is my Marie Bernand, Bernand sorry, uh, the flower that I did, started in a class um, maybe a month or so ago. Finished it this morning. That's what the stick was. I was wondering what the stick yeah. out of your bag was. Yep. Um, so I'm super happy with it as my first attempt at gold work. I kind of lost my angle a bit down the bottom of the skin, but oh well, only I think I would notice. But otherwise, I'm super pleased. Can I have a look? So there. Can I have a close up? The colours are stunning. There are a few things I would change if I was doing it again, but just, meh. Well, that's the point, isn't it? Yeah. You're learning. That's great. Nope, super pleased. So, is there a stitch that you prefer that you think, oh, I love this stitch, I want to keep doing it? I loved the couching stitches, which was just stitching things down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Didn't like the um, stitching down on the stem and on the petals. Is that I found that really hard. And, oh, it's got me. Crushed, crushed in the car. Um, so that's couching, isn't it? Is it couching? The stem, you're couching it at the edges. Oh yeah, okay then. Yeah. Um, and this, and the, the stem is couched as well, isn't yeah. it? Of the leaf. Yes. Yeah. And is the, yeah. is, is the gold bit that goes around the outside. Mm. But as a foray into mutual work, it was a lot of fun. Gold I work. like the idea of uh, the couching. Very beautiful. And it chose really beautiful colours. Was it a kit? Uh, no. Well, it was a kit and she had colours. You could choose your colours. Oh, okay. And what stitch is this one? Um, I'm just going to show them. That is... I mean this stitch here, which is the, the second bit here. It's, it looks to me like French knots. No, no. It's just... Um, what is it called? I should know this. I don't. It's just little bits of the um, chipping. That's chipping. So we use... Uh, Bright check pearl, so the um, <laughs> Martin <laughs> arrived. <laughs> um, it's just little bits of the wire cut up and sewed on, but the wire itself has quite a texture to it as opposed to this stuff, which is sort of smooth. Ah, okay, great. For some reason, I'm looking at this and I, all I can think is Elizabethan, mm -hmm. it's, it's got that feel to it to got me. That vibe because I, I hung out in that period and I know all about it. <laughs> <laughs> Well done. I'm super pleased. So I'm going to uh, frame it in a hoop. You can't see that. And um, hang it from some blue ribbon. Nice. It's very pretty. Well done. So fast, Victoria. Oh. I think this is the fastest class you've yes, it is. completed. So, yeah, I'm t touching things and I shouldn't touch yeah, it. Yeah, don't touch it. Don't touch it. It's done. <laughs> Great. So, whips. Whips. Okay. Um, maybe I'll start with this one. So somehow, I didn't really have a lot of free time, but I, I got a lot done. This was incredible. Um, so I worked on my Stacey Nash Primitives Rose Cottage Sampler Pinkey. 
which is one of my favorite things. And I don't know if you remember from last time, but there are three rows here, but somehow in my counting, I didn't put enough stitching to make three rows. <laughs> so I've only got two rows, that one and that one. And I don't really have enough space to add another one of it. I mean, I could, but I won't. Um, so, so I'm just changing this. I've, I've kept the numbers, but I'm, I'm actually going to change this. So what I've done this time has been I've completed this vase with the flowers. I did the dog. And then on this side, I did everything was new. Everything is new apart from this one dog. So I did this. What is it? Bird. Some sort of dinosaur bird. A frightened dog. Um a vase with flowers, this bizarre flower situation. Um, and then there was a little basket and a heart and this kind of thing that kind of feels quilty to me. Um, so I'm gonna add, I'm just gonna go off piste and add quilty things to that. So I'm super pleased, so I'm almost finished and I would like to finish it in the next couple of days because I want to start another project. Excellent. So, and I think it will be a pin cushion sort of in a, a ridiculous sort of size. Um, apparently I need more pin cushions. So. <laughs> and I really recommend the pattern. I'm, I'm gonna pass this pattern on to you because I know you want Yay. to make it as well. Excellent. Yeah. So very, very cute. I, I really do like Stacey Nash patterns. It's funny because I really like the look of them and they are quite primitive, what Americans say call, call primitive. So it's that kind of a bit naive, a bit faded, a bit rustic, a bit dirty. Um, I like that, I'm drawn to that and then I change it. <laughs> um, but really great. So yeah. Oh, and, and then, so I'm just using whatever flosses I have, of course. No numbers. Sometimes I match, I try and match the colors. Mostly I don't. Um, but this is a fabric that I dyed. I think I dyed it with avocado a long time ago now. So, excellent. Oh, I've got stuff to tell you. Remind me to talk about Simon. Okay. 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 Cool. What have you got that you've been oh, working on? So I'm afraid I'm very much Groundhog Day to the ones I was working on in the previous video. So I've done some more of the um, stitch along I'm working on, which is the Northern Expressions Needlework Twisted Band Sampler. And for the first time, I took this pattern, I took a project into work and stitched on it in lunchtime. Oh, well done. Because I'm so behind on all the things I've got to get done. <laughs> pressure pressure hobby pressure so I'm still just working I've done this started on the second green band I think since the last video so I've got heaps to do before the next class which is in two weeks oh you've got two weeks yes so we're doing it on it's usually the second Tuesday but for various reasons last month's one was pushed back to the third Tuesday and so this month will be third Tuesday as well of the month okay and I, put, I saw that um, it's so easy on Instagram. Yes, Emma, Amy, Amy. Um, she's gone off to Flor Venice. So <gasps> yes. how am I going to know where you are if she's not I posting? <laughs> <laughs> Surprise! You'll have to post something on Instagram. I will. I will. Lovely. So, but you're on track. You've got two weeks. Right? I've got two weeks, but I've mm, the other ones I've been working on. So the the Die Fisher class starts in two or three weeks. And I've got to have all the prep done for that and have it laced onto a wooden frame. And I've never done the lacing bit. So oh, the lacing's not to... hard. It's not hard. Yeah, I don't think, I'm not expecting it to be hard. It's just time. It's just that you have to find the time to do mm. it. And I just, I don't want to be doing it the night before and realise I'm doing it wrong or whatever. Oh, but you will be doing it the night before, because that's just how life runs. It's not how I programmed it to run. Tell you what, being <laughs> sick for those two days the other weekend has really stuffed up my, my um, programming. Of getting all these things done, you, it'll settle. You'll have, you'll have. All you need is one good week, one good day, yeah, and you'll have caught up. Okay, so the next one I worked on was the heartstring samplery. His eyes on the sparrow, which is another massive pattern that I really love. And what I really want to do, is I want to get down to this tree, which I love. I love that tree, but I'm up here, so somehow there is a rule that I can't go down in my head. You're doing everything above the text and then? Yeah. No, no, I'm, I don't know. I'm, 
where I am now, I've got to the top of the text now, so that I've got to the top here. So I think maybe now I can start working down at that level. Like I couldn't work down here because that's not in the rules. <laughs> but I can work down here. Love your rules. I know, right? Totally. You're no, no, no logical sense. I know. Isn't this amazing? Oh, I love the colours. I know. I kind of feel like it's um, uh, Eastern European or, mm. you know, the colours are great. Anyway, so what I did is I just completed this flower bouquet and um fun fact i was showing it to victoria five minutes ago and her eyes popped out of her sockets <laughs> when she noticed how off center my flower no was. i was trying to work no, out she was i, she I was. noticed it didn't popped out of her <laughs> sockets <laughs> and she's got she gets this look that is like Oh my god, that's not been, that's not even been counted. And then, <laughs> then, then the second layer of terror is like, I, I, I don't even know if she's noticed. <laughs> <laughs> my eyes are like, oh my god, this is so funny. Poor Victoria, she's having a hissy fit. <laughs> oh, but I try and be polite and I don't point these things out. Does her eyes just pop out of her sockets? <laughs> no, I need, I need a bit of poker face. And she's completely right. I didn't bother counting. I was like, oh, I'll start there. Um, and if you'll notice that very intentionally, this flower um, didn't fit. It was, so it ended up behind the hoof, which sounds perfectly folk arty to me. So I'm super delighted. Oh, and another thing to make you happy, Victoria, can you notice anything else? Have you got two different colors of reds in there? No, not reds. No? Two different colors of brown. Oh, that doesn't bother me. Oh. Well, that's disappointing, isn't it? <laughs> Bre um, light brown, dark brown. We do our best. Sometimes she's not shocked. <laughs> I'm just going to disappear for a second because Martin, you, you. So this. I'll is, do my next one. Yeah. So this was just um, his eyes on the sparrow. Yeah. Which is fabulous, and I always recommend it. And all my flosses are second-hand flosses that were given to me. So who knows what they are? So yeah, I'm just going to disappear and say goodbye to uh, the husband. So I have been. Oh, you're on. Sorry. I took a kidney out. Um, Mrs. Bingley's Library by Plum Street Sampler. So this one has been my go-to for late nights and when I'm doing something that's distracted because I've been doing a lot of thinking projects. And I've made great progress. Well, for me. So I've got my shutters and my door and some of the white fill, which is looking great. I wish I'd done her on a small account. I think she's on 32 and I'd like to have done her on a 40 or a 36. But she's still coming along. <clears throat> and the house is looking great. <clears throat> and I'll show you the next one. <clears throat> so this is the... Uh, an English garden band sampler. This is part of the, the Die Fisher class that I have signed up for that starts in a couple of weeks. So this is the one which I have been spending a lot of time on doing the prep for. And what have we done? So I have done the week two, not the week two, the band two prep work, which involved doing the base stem work and then this sort of big pattern and I have just started which you can just see a line there of the band 3 prep and this is taking a lot of brain power and this band is the reason why I bought this book which I showed before this is The Proper Stitch by Darlene O. Steen I don't know, I'm not pronouncing that correctly but I was working on uh, a stitch that has driven me crazy. It is the double back stitch variation. This book does have excellent instructions, but it's <clears throat> it, it's hard. I'm having to turn a corner and it's not going well. <laughs> I was just so I've done the band two and just started band three. Great. Yeah. I love the um this one strand work thing. It's pretty, isn't it? They're, so that's it the pretty. stems. <clears throat> They're stems for things. Yes. So there's going to be things around There's them. strawberries and flowers on there, but those are the stitches that we're learning in class. 
this oh, is just the, the prep stuff. Nice. Is the, like are the two different tones of green intentional? From here and here? Yeah. Yeah, those are the rules. That's disappointing, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> uh, so I've go. just shown all my work because I don't do very good filler. So oh. Now you can show your work. <laughs> what did I miss then? Oh, you, well, you didn't really miss anything. Oh, yeah. But I worked on... Um, Spin it with the wrong colour door. Yeah, it is odd because the the instructions say use a grey door, which is what I've done. But I'm so used to Catherine's pink door the whole time I was doing it, I was thinking, no, no, it's supposed to be pink. That's right, everything. This is wrong. Life should always have pink doors. Um, okay, so that was. Oh no, so this is another one. So this is. Um, can I remember the name? And the forest, forest grew by someone. Uh, Rosewood Manor. Uh, yeah, designed by Karen Kluber. Yep. Um, and I love it. So this is a sal that I'm doing with Ella from Spectrum Stitcher. Um, she's on pause until she gets a light because she, this is the first project on linen that she's doing and she needs a bit of light. Although they'll be getting more sun, sunlight, like lighter evenings. So it might be less of an issue now um, because she's in Australia. Yeah. Near Melbourne. Yeah. I don't really know where Melbourne is, but you know. it's in Australia. It's in Australia. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I do need to get better at the map. Um, so anyway, I've made progress. I'm kind of on a roll with this now. So last time, so to kind of bump start me, um, I had shown you sort of some of these that I'd done. Oh no no no. Was, uh, yeah, this on the side. But now I've gone back here and I've added. I've added this funny tree this bird, this funny tree with two colors because I ran out of one of the greens and the wee rabbit. So I'm very happy with them. And with this one, there's a cool thing at the bottom that I'm trying to get to, which is, oh, it's a really interesting tree here in the corner. So I'm trying to get to that one and that'll be the next thing that I do. So I'm excited about that. And I think there is some sort of fox at the bottom of that. So that's cute. So yes. Um, and this, this is our, with what you have sell. So the idea is that you pick a pattern that you already have in your craft pantry and you pick colors that you already have in your craft pantry and you don't go out to buy things, but use what you have rather. So that's with what you have sell. So I'm very happy. And that's, I changed the, um, the, I think it was a bit more biblical. I changed the saying to a, um, a quote by Peter Seeger, which is about the environment, about recycling and the environment. So really happy with this. Yeah, I love the wee woodland creatures that are scattered throughout. Yeah, it's cute, isn't it? So that's that. I don't need this now because I've posted this thing. Um, I've, I've just been on a roll. You have, she's done so much. It's because I'm not painting. This is the difference. <laughs> I had a couple of days of not painting. Hurrah! Um, so then I made progress on my Dutch Beauty, or a Dutch Beauty, which is a Mahusiv, um sampler, I suppose, by Perman of Copenhagen. Um, this is um, one where I dyed the linen. Oh, I love this linen. Um, and I dyed it with a buddleia, a yellow pom-pom buddleia. I've forgotten the name. And I don't know if you remember, but I had gone all around the edge doing this bit of the stems, but I'd, I'd not completed them. So I'd done the first line the first and I hadn't the... crossed the, mm. the stitch. So I finished crossing that, so probably one and a half sides were crossed. And then I went, I went back and I added the leaves. So I've now done two sides full of leaves as well. So I'm very thrilled with this. And I love these projects when I, because when I get them out of the bag, I can smell the natural dye and it's super lovely. I love this color. And this is why I want to talk about it. I might talk about it now, Victoria won't. You go for it. She won't say anything bad to me. My phone keeps pinging. Um, I watched, I posted it on my Instagram. There's an embroiderer in England that I love. 
she's Indian. Um, she lives in Britain. She's in England, in the north of England, so she's got to be a good sort. Um, and she, she embroiders inspired by Pulkari, which, oh, did she say she was from Punjab or Gujarat? I think Punjab, oh, forgotten now, I'm gonna have to rewatch the video. Anyway, I had asked her once, cause she was doing a, a, like a presentation of her work, but it was a live one in person. Mm -hmm. And I messaged mm -hmm. her and I said, are you going to do a Zoom one? Cause <laughs> I'm not in England. And she said, oh, if I ever manage to figure out how to do a Zoom, I, I hope so. Anyway, Selvage magazine, I don't know if you know who Selvage magazine is, but they're an amazing outfit and I love their work. Mm -hmm. um, they do a lot promoting uh, artisans from all over the world. So they had her on for a Zoom. So I, I bought my ticket. You know me, I'm, so, I'm quite frugal and I'm very reluctant to buy things. The minute I found out, I was like, I'm buying it. It was only five pounds, which is unbelievable. Um, it was just a talk, but it was five pounds and um, it was gonna end up being at three in the morning in New Zealand. So of course I was just gonna wait for the recording, which I did. And then I watched in my lunch hour one day and it was just so wonderful. Anyway, I am hoping to commission her to make me a piece. But what I want to do is I want to dye the linen and dye the threads and send them to her. So that I've got like New Zealand elements and she can put her layer of creativity as an artist with like the heritage of in India that she has. Cool. Have you contacted cool. her about this? Yes, I've, I messaged her to say her talk was wonderful. Her talk was wonderful. It was very inspired. Um, and she said, yes, as soon as I have, because um, she has a family, she's, mm. she's caring for uh, her, her daughter as well. So when she has a gap, like she times things. Mm. I've seen her in the past opening commissions up and then closing them. So I'm hoping to catch it. But of course, I'm going away for the whole of December. So I have to time it as well because I have to die. I've got fabric that I've dyed, um, but I need the threads. And I want to do threads and I want to do indigo as well to mm -hmm. send. Yeah. So I have goals now. Mm. So that was very exciting. <clears throat> I mean, any excuse, I'm just ridiculous. I watched this woman called Amy Bear. Mm. Have I ever talked to you about her? She's, she's a knitting podcaster. Amy Bear, the fat squirrel. She's pro fat, pro body positive. And she does all, and she, and she is a hilarious person. So I always religiously, as soon as she pops up, I watch her. Um, but because life is quite stressful, she's been a bit spendy, as she says. She's been a bit spendy buying um, like role-playing games, but these are role-playing games that you play alone, which sounds oh. perfect. Um, but it was basically Woodland Animals. So I'm going off a complete tangent now. I've had chocolate and a drink, so <laughs> ginger beer. Um, and she was, she was telling us all about the, her spendy with her role-playing games that are just for herself in her kitchen alone. And then she said, oh, don't judge me. I'm a patron of the arts. <laughs> It's brilliant. So I'm like, I was telling Martin about, I'm going to commission this artist to do something for me. Be a tiny little thing. But I said, I'm a patron of the arts. <laughs> so I'm quite excited. That's excellent. You haven't shown that. <clears throat> oh, haven't you, I? No, you just got it out and then put it away. I showed it to you, didn't I? Yes, you did. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so the next one I worked on, bringing it back to cross stitch. Um, this is my Mexican sampler that I really like. Um... And it's called Cuando se corona un gusto. Um, just like when you crown a desire or when something like that. It doesn't translate very well. Um, this is what it looks like. And I decided to, um, what's her name? Um, Yanni Stitcher did the chart, but she charted it in two different ways. So you can, you can embroider it the way it is where the words run into one another because it's quite old and they used to do stuff like that. English wasn't, it hadn't so many rules yet. Or you can do it in like in a modern way so that the words, space, words, space. But I decided to do it the original way. So anyway, I'm making progress. Oh look, linen with an actual tag that tells me what it actually <laughs> is. Um, this linen is by number 12 Stitch Co. and it's called Rain Cloud, 36 count. Um, and I've done another another sentence, another phrase. And this one says, En este 
and then there's a, an image, Yase, which means in this, and I think the image is supposed to be a monument. Victoria thought it was a candle or you thought it was amnesty. Didn't it, it? Very, it's very it reminiscent is, it of the amnesty a, candle. Yeah. A, amnesty International, yeah. <clears throat> I think it's supposed to be a monument. In this monument lies or rests. I think that's what it is. Anyway. Oh, that makes sense to be a monument. If, yeah. It's a monument to love, I suppose. I don't know. Um, and they, they use the word yased. Yase, which is quite old fashioned, which is to rest or to lie somewhere. But we don't walk around saying, oh, <laughs> it just sounds like a period drama if you talk like that. <laughs> anyway, I really love this. It's very beautiful. Lots of uh, no counting. Um, but I think it's looking fabulous. Anyway, we're just with one um, all in one color, which is fun and relaxing. And I'm a big fan of this color, which is DMC 312. So it's a really great blue. So I'm really happy with this. So I'm hoping to kind of finish that box soon. Um, I was just really happy to complete a, a phrase. Um, I've got three more sentences in that box. I probably won't do three sentences. I don't know. It depends. There's a lot of counting when you're doing the, the writing because it's, it's cursive and it's got funny spacing. We shall see. We shall see. 36 minutes. I think we're going to finish early today. Excellent. It's yeah. a lovely sunny afternoon. Yeah. Um, my last cross stitch that... Uh, yes, my last cross stitch that I can show you is... Consider the lilies. Um, so this is a beautiful pattern. By, again, by Heartstring Samplery. And the photography, of course, you know, <laughs> Yase on a quilt. <laughs> so it's resting on a quilt. It's very beautiful. And I just love, this one's very bright and colorful, unlike the other one, but I'm still changing the colors willy-nilly <laughs> as I feel like it. Um, so this is another um, um, stitch along that I'm doing with Mel from Patchy Pony Stitcher. I'm just miles ahead because I don't know. She wasn't painting a house. <laughs> but anyway, I got my, myself, I had, I had a word with myself. This is all rather messy. I had a word with myself and I've made loads of progress. Because it turns out my rule continues. I can't do the inside until I finish the border. So, what I've, the progress I've made is now this border so the whole thing that I'd done last time was the inner border of flowers was complete, but now the outer border is complete. So flowers on the outside, that one, and that one, and that one, and that one, and that one. And then on this side, I've done one and two. So I'm super happy. And it's really funny. I was telling Victoria about this, about the first time around, it felt quite slow to do each flower. And even though to start with, because I don't want to look at my chart because that's effort. I just look at another flower, mm -hmm. which means I was looking at another flower upside down because it's oriented set differently. It was still faster. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, I'm really pleased. Um, apparently I had said that I might have gone for turquoise for these outer flowers, but I've gone for the pinks again. But on, on this side, I have a yellow flower. So it's all pinks. You know, pinks, the family of pinks, so pinks, yellows, purples, reds, fuchsias, burgundies. But what I thought I would do is on the outer, put a turquoise flower, but still use the same family of pinks. Beautiful. Yeah, so I'm happy with this. I think it's... Look at how narrow my border, though. What is wrong with me? You were not a fan of seam allowances, are you? I just <laughs> don't want to waste fabric. I think you um, get buttons that don't work. Nithya, defend me. <laughs> But mm -hmm. I don't even know what this is going to be. Yeah, exactly. If I did um, and you do a roll, lovely yeah. hems, yeah. Yeah, drawn, drawn thread stitch. You don't need a lot of space. So no. I'm defending myself. I'm not going to learn my lesson. I've got so much spare fabric, but, you know, God forbid I should use more than I needed on the sides. <laughs> so I thought what I would do is because this one's hand dyed as well. I'm thinking... When I finish the border, I'm going to cut the fabric and send a couple of pieces 
to Thyma. So Lovely. this is the artist. Yes. So she's her Instagram handle is at so Saima, S E W as in sewing, so and her name is Saima, S A I M A. Saima Core, she's got a website. Uh, she sells one off embroideries and prints as well. So that's my idea that I'm going to cut off the edges of hand dyed linens and send that. Maybe send her three so that she can choose and then my threads and then she can do, do what she does and then she can send me back um, what's left over. Excellent. Yeah. So that was the third one. So I think I've done really well. You've done amazing. Um, I've still got a couple of bits to show you. I've done... Is that okay? Yeah, yeah. I don't think either of us have shopping, do we? Oh, I went to Stitch Kit. Have I been... Have I told them about Stitch Kitchen? Yes, I think that... Well, you can tell the story again. Well, just I just went to Stitch Kitchen because they had a, a sale on. Maybe I did talk about it. I think you did because you forgot to bring the fabric. Oh, it's just... It's in bits. Mm. But I, I had a good time ironing some of it and folding some of it. But, you know, every time... It takes so many steps. Whether you buy new fabric or second-hand fabric, there are so many steps before you're even ready to cut it. That I, I got okay today I'm going to cut the fabric but before that I was like I get it out of the bag then I fold it down then I put it in the in the right groupings then I've got to iron some of it and I'm too tired now so I've had three days of doing things with the fabric that hasn't led to cutting yet Wow yeah yeah, yeah. but that's okay um, I mean I make my hand because I want it to take long I don't want to be churning things out so anyway I don't know if I told you, but um, a work colleague gave me her old iPhone because I keep dropping mine and the screen was totally damaged. So it was going to cost me at least $100 to replace the screen. Actually, $120 because the shop that I used to get, get it fixed at, they've shut down. So I went to another shop and they said $119. So that was nice. Anyway, she saw my phone and she said, oh, I've just been given another iPhone. Do you want mine? I was like, okay, thanks. So anyway, she loves pink. She's also a knitter, but she doesn't knit in the round. She doesn't like knitting in the round. So I am making her some fingerless gloves. She loves pink and she looks very pretty in pink. She, she wears pretty pink cardigans and stuff. I love that color. Yeah. I said to Christina, is it great or is it tacky? <laughs> she just looked at me. It's great. <laughs> um, but I know this was, um, see, I'm not, I'm not a huge fan of Merino. This is Merino. Um, I'm bored by Merino and the pills. Um, I think there's far more interesting yarns out there. But this was the one pink they had that matched my idea of what mm -hmm. she would like. Um, so I hope she'll like it. If she thinks it's um, tacky pink, which I don't think she will, she can just use it for gardening. Like if she's pruning her roses um, when it's a little bit chilly. Bit, but, mm. but you know, yeah, you know, she doesn't have to. I think she'll, I think she'll enjoy them. But anyway, I've been enjoying this. And this is a yarn called Beautiful by Countrywide Yarns. It's 100% merino, machine washable, eight ply. It's an Auckland. I was going to say, is it Kiwi? The, the company is New Zealand. I think the yarn is New Zealand. The, the wool is New Zealand, but it's, I think it gets processed completely in China. Um, and that makes it... You can always tell because it, if it's made in New Zealand, it's all over the yep. label. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, yeah. But that's okay. It is what it is. It's beautiful. I love that colour. Yeah, I love it. I think it's a nice cheery colour for winter. So that's one thing I've been working on. Um, and I wasn't going to show this because I said to Victoria I wasn't going to show this but because I thought I didn't bring it. Um, but I have been working super fast and hard on my quilt just one of the quilts because the other one i need to do cutting and i of course i haven't done cutting can i hold something for you oh i'm just gonna just oh yeah, there it is i was looking for this one so i've put my flying geese together now oh they look so good yeah so what i'm doing is i've grouped all the flying geese um by the triangle color um so this is like nice little leaves with this kind of greeny mossy green background and then I have, I think it's the same design, but in, in two colors. 
and they're all quite uniform here and this one's got the, the little flowers with the turquoise background is there one that has them mixed no i haven't seen anything mixed. well here here is a bit mixed so you've got turquoise and you've got this blue oh very uh, nice but sometimes you have like orange and blue so i like that as well but it's also i mean shocker not straight um because you know me i don't want it to be straight I don't want to measure and kind of make it clinical looking so it's not straight and then it occurred to me that to kind of further enhance the non-straightness when I because these are going to be joined like this nice. I actually thought I could exaggerate the curves here oh I, I think like that would be idea. fun yeah I think that would be fun so sometimes it's going to be like this sometimes it's going to be like this and sometimes I'm going to put things like this nice so it's going to be a kind of a, a little puzzle of flying geese things and this is great because my commute is half an hour um, and I can knit in the car and I can quilt in the car like piece but I can't cross stitch the, the car just moves too much mm. you know the roads are or maybe the driving or <laughs> the car uh, it's not smooth enough so it's really hard and you've got to be very um particular with where you put your needle I think it's just of course it's yeah, too yeah, rough. yeah yeah I mean but people say that they do cross stitch in their car and I just no <laughs> not on New Zealand roads <laughs> maybe that's what it is but I go on the highway which theoretically is smoother but no it's okay um I'm really happy because I do have commuting work now it's fabulous um, and half an hour you get through a lot in half an hour um so that's really great excellent yeah so I think I think that's everything to show yeah what are your plans for the next two weeks? Um, I actually would like to finish this quilt top and I would like to make progress on all these things. I also would like to make progress on that mustard shirt that I've got on the go. Yes. And I also, every time I find a new project, I'm putting them in this basket in my sitting room. And I want to, do you, know the, do you know the fabric that Margarita sent us that was white and I'm doing that blouse with the bands? Yes, beautiful. I found that, so I want to continue with that. Excellent. So, yeah, lots of... And I want to put stitches on every one of my projects that I showed today. Excellent. Finish that cottage. Yeah. Pin keep. Beautiful. Yeah. What about you? What are you going to focus on? So, I have to get dye fisher sorted. So, she's my big focus. Yes. I'm going to be working on my stitch along one, the twisted band sampler. I'm now going to take that to work and that's going to be my lunchtime Great. project. Great. And I want to get one of my other ones out and get some progress done on those. Mm. The, um, uh, tomorrow. Yeah. I'm going you, to, you, you, you're going away, aren't you? I'm day trip up to Timaru tomorrow. So yeah. you're not really going to stitch much? No. I'm not when you're there either? No. No, no. So any stitching I do tomorrow will be when I get home, which probably won't be any because driving. Oh, we drive that close. No, it's th two and a half, but we stop in Omro, so it'll be three and a half hours. Yeah. To get there, and I'll do the driving because we're taking my car, so that's sort of six hours driving. And that's tiring. Yeah. So I can't imagine I'll get anything done tomorrow, but that's okay. Hmm. But but we've got a fortnight. We do. Yeah. So, and there's another weekend in there. Hmm. Yeah, and maybe, we were talking about this before we started filming, um, I was supposed to go to the Spinners and Weavers group in Waikowaiti, that's just along from my house, and it was a snow day, so I could have gone in my lunch hour. I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's just too hard to go to social things, especially on your own. Which actually, I was thinking about it on Thursday as I wasn't going to this thing. I was so impressed with you that you went to the oh. Embroiderers Guild. I was impressed with me too. Yeah, very good. Yeah, I'll just continue to not. <laughs> I can post on Instagram, but I just don't go to things. Yeah, which is disappointing. I was a bit disappointed in myself because um, I really wanted to go, but I bumped into Martin's. This is Dunedin. I bumped into Martin's ex boss, mm. like the boss's boss. And her mother-in-law lives along from my house. And I figured it out because she said, oh, I hear that you've had your bridge done. I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we got a builder and he's finished that bit now. 
And I thought, how do you know about my bridge? <laughs> so we've got a connection between my deck and the pavement. There is a bridge. And that's because I want to future-proof the house. So if one of us ended up on an, um, using a, a walking stick or a wheelchair, we could still use the house. Um, so anyway, she said, oh, it's because my mother-in-law lives alone. So when we phone her, she gives us updates. Um, so I said, oh, well, next time you come to see her, pop, pop round. And then she said, oh, she does all the spinning and, and weaving and stuff. And I was like, pop round with your mother-in-law. Because <laughs> <laughs> if I meet her, then I'll be normal and I'll yeah. be able to go along. And Yeah, not so scary when you know someone. Yeah, and also, you know, I rock up to these things and I don't follow the rules. So then I have to, like, expose my heart and soul and defend my way of working. Plus, if at least... I could pretend that I follow the rules. It would be like, oh, yeah, I'm doing this, and everybody would understand. But I go and I I do this way. I do it this way because, you know, I don't believe in the rules, and I like to subvert things. And, yeah, I know I don't buy new things. And, and it just becomes this big story in my head, and it's just too much. <laughs> so, Fair enough. If you watch us and you live in Waikowaiti, and you are in the Spinners and Weavers, leave a comment. Maybe I'll be brave if I know that someone <laughs> watches, or maybe I won't be. Who knows? Uh, so anyway, anyway, that's it. So that's you're going to really focus on your. I've got to get the dye fisher stuff done. Yeah, yeah. So have a safe two weeks, people. Yeah, and um, we'll um, enjoy the transition to the new season. Yeah. Oh gosh. Yeah. Which yeah. Is so our snow day was in spring. Yes, proper spring proper after the twenty second. Yeah. So anyway, it was lovely. You know, Dunedin has is, is like Scotland. Four seasons in a day. Absolutely. <laughs> Yeah. Anyway, have a lovely fortnight and we'll catch up soon. Kaki day.